Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to welcome you to episode 214 of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. So this weekend has been a really busy weekend for me, and it's really funny because when you're not in a traditional relationship, so to speak, every once in a while, it kind of makes itself very known. And this is what I'm talking about. So I was over one of my girlfriend's houses uh, this weekend and it's actually, you know, my business partner and, you know, the woman that runs my PR and, you know, has branded Ask Dr. Angela, my friend Carrie. And she has an amazing husband named Chris. And so I said to Chris in passing, I'm like, dude, I'm going to have to come over and get some man classes from you, you know, because I see him doing really fantastic things with his boys all the time, you know, man stuff. He's teaching them how to maintain the lawn, you know, they helped him build and paint a fence the weekend before, just really amazing stuff. Because in my house, we've got all girls, except for our dog, Franklin, who's kind of like metrosexual, I'm convinced. But anyway, when stuff gets broken around my house, I don't know how to fix that stuff. My wife doesn't know how to fix that stuff. I mean, we could not be any more girly. Now, I will say that I can put together almost anything. But, I mean, it's not really something that I enjoy doing. So, this weekend, you know, my wife was on this. Oh, my gosh, you know, spring is here. We got to get patio furniture. We've been in our new home for probably... It's going on a year now, and we've got a great, you know, patio slash deck. So we went out and got patio furniture. My gosh, talk about a nightmare. You know, we both have, like, cars that are not typically used for hauling things. You know, my wife drives this, you know, sporty Mercedes, and I've got a Mini Cooper. So to make a long story short, I had to make like a million trips back and forth to Home Depot in order to get all of our stuff back to our house. And then I'm like on the back patio assembling all of this patio furniture. And it looks great because, you know, my wife has like such a good eye for these things. And so the colors are great. Chairs are great. You know, everything looks great. But it took a long time. And then I've got to like... My fatigues, which are like my favorite pair of pants in the whole world. And I'm like on the ground and bent over. And, you know, everything like hangs low on me. So then I actually had like plumber's butt. And Francesca's like, Mommy, I can see your butt. And it's like, oh, really? But anyway, I am going to tell you that I, I pulled a real girl move. And when I looked at that grill that was sitting over there in that box waiting for me to put it together, I was like, "Mm, I'm going to have to take a pass on this one. So one of the guys that's building a home like a few houses down from us in our neighborhood, I asked him, like, dude, if you put this grill together, I'll pay you whatever you want. And so he said, sure, as soon as I'm done with my shift, I will come and put your grill together. And so I paid him. A complete grill move, I paid him. But you know what? I don't even care about it because it's done now. So let's jump right into today's question. And it has to do with bleeding post-delivery and what to expect. And I take so much of this stuff for granted because it's what I do. I talk about this stuff all the time. But I'm going to tell you that bleeding post-delivery is probably one of the more common questions that I get asked. And so this is what I'm going to tell you about bleeding post-delivery, whether it's a vaginal delivery or whether it's a C-section. That bleeding that you have post-delivery is technically termed lochia, and that bleeding can last anywhere from six to eight weeks. 
It doesn't mean that you're going to be bleeding every day for six to eight weeks, but it just means that you can have bleeding for that length of time. So I always tell my moms, my new moms, you know, just make sure that you're wearing a panty liner because just when you think it's gone, boom, it's back. And, you know, nobody wants those kinds of accidents, specifically now that it's getting warm, probably going to have your sundresses on, you know, cute shorts. You know, who wants to mess up, number one, a perfectly good pair of panties? Um, number two, an outfit. The other just kind of word of advice that I always give my moms post-delivery is that that first period after you have a baby is like, it's like a flipping beast. I mean, it's like you're like the co-star or the star of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Friday the 13th. I mean, those, those periods are usually really heavy. I remember after I delivered my daughter and I got my first period, I was like, what the what? I could not believe how much bleeding I had. I mean, it was just really heavy. So my general rule of thumb where bleeding is concerned is you're probably going to be okay as long as it's not heavier than a pad an hour. If you're bleeding through or soaking through more than a pad an hour, that is never normal. But I am telling you, be ready for that first period post-delivery because all of my moms tell me this. No one ever told me what to expect. No one ever told me that my period was going to be that heavy. It kind of scared me. So I'm telling you now, you heard it. For me, Dr. Angela. So I'm hoping that this pearl, this, you know, podcast today will enlighten someone so that you won't be taken by surprise. Because while we all like a good surprise, no one likes those kinds of surprises. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. If you happen to have a question, topic, or an issue that you would like addressed on the podcast, you know how to reach me, www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. You can click on the big question mark and email me your question. You can direct message me on any of the social media venues. They are all on the website. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, our video segments are not only informative, but they're flipping hilarious. Make sure that you also sign up for our blog posts, which are informative, witty, charming, and very informative. And just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the continued love and support. In closing, I'd like to leave you with this quote from E.E. E. Cummings. Originality does not consist in saying what no one has ever said before but in saying exactly what you think of yourself, to be nobody but yourself, in a world which is doing its best, night and day, to make you like everybody else, means to fight the hardest battle which any human being can fight and never stop fighting. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Can't wait to reconnect on episode 215. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional.